WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here, Tiger Financial News Network, thir- uh, Friday the uh, 18th, 11 o'clock update. We're looking at the Dow up 93 points at 33,646. The Dow's really been trying very hard to get back into the 33,000, uh, the 33,708 area. I think the 33,900, at least in the short term time period, is very strong resistance and it needs to hold 33,000. Uh, 400, 33,300 support uh, going into Tuesday. We're looking at the S&P also consolidating, having hit the 200 period moving average and pulling back uh, up four at 39.51. If it can get at any point above 39.85, uh, it says, whoa, maybe I'll retest the 4,024 200-period moving average, but it's not doing that right now. QQQ, NDX 100, uh, very sharp pullback, down one at 283.80. I don't mean sharp pullback in points, just from the, the high that was made at a peak D. It's pullback sharp. You hit the nine-period moving average, try to bounce today, and has given that back. And you can see this weekly chart that inside track repellents on. Whew. Is that a repellent zone? That's a tough thing to crack at this particular point. IWM, Russell 2000, is up $1.30, acting quite well, uh, getting close to the 186 on this rebound, which has been the resistance of the 200 period moving average. Uh, it's trading at 103.83. Gold, gold is down um, not bad. It's just down four and a half at 1758. Uh, this 200 period moving average repels it. But in fact, all the technicals are so strong that I think gold will make a higher high next week to start a leg C above 1792 in the continuous contract. You're looking at uh, what are we going to? We're going to go to the dollar. The dollar is trying to rally a little bit here. It's up one at 106.68. It's just saying I'm trying to find some support. I've had a big move down. I just need a bit of a breather. I'm holding the 200 period moving average of 105.83 as support. Looking at uh, the crude oil, crude oil has pulled back very sharply. It's down $2 at 79.40. Uh, this is just saying that at this particular point, crude oil is still not finding buyers. We're looking at natural gas. Natural gas at this particular stage is uh, almost unchanged, up uh, down 0.003. Uh, trying to, it has to, natural gas has to get to the 656 area to say, hey, I'm going to be moving much higher. We'll see what happens. Then the TLT bonds are just uh, down a, a fraction at 100.22. Not going, any, going anywhere, so yields are pulling back a little bit. Basil Chapman, stay tuned for Steve Rose and great programming for the rest of the day. Check out my opening call, Daily Newsletter. See you on Monday.